Good morning. Happy new week. <laughs> I'm running around doing things this morning. We are going to the lake. And I was getting ready to clean out my little LV uh, breast pump containers. And I'm like, oh no, this one still has a little bit uh, decent amount of milk. I don't want to, you pumping mamas understand, right? I don't want to miss even a, a speck of an ounce. <laughs> so, so whenever you're done pumping, they just pour like that. Like I say, that that wasn't wasn't too much, but still didn't want to wash that away. I will just save that, and when I pump again, we'll add to it. But yeah, every every little speck counts. So now that we have our oh by the way, welcome to another large family meals of the week video where you are gonna run around with us and of course do lots of things but i'm also gonna make lots of food and talk about lots of food things obviously pumping breast milk cleaning things up today we are going to the lake and how and how my um little tricks of the trade this summer have been <laughs> Got a little grocery, well, I got a small Walmart grocery pickup order to pick up on the way with a few things we needed just to make the day even easier. And also it keeps me from doing things like stopping at McDonald's. Definitely need to head back to Sharp Shopper to pick up some more snacks uh, that make leg days even easier. I think I put drinks for the kids in there, some graham crackers, pistachios because I like those some boxed salads for some salad eaters um, and then we needed like more paper plates and napkins here at the house let me think of what other tales I have to tell the contract is here to start our third bathroom in the basement to get our basement projects going and I'm doing hard boiled eggs for breakfast and then uh, with these little parts I wash these out every time I pump and let them air dry so that's how this works also now that we have a date for my uh, upcoming two potentially two kidney procedures want 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 not happy about that but I'm thinking of it as if this is self-care this is my version of self-care for my family <laughs> I'm getting this taken care of right um, now that we have the dates for that, and I, I mean, I feel fine. I, I got pressure in that kidney. We know that that rock has uh, made a pocket and all those fun, exciting things. So it definitely needs to come out. But because I have a couple weeks and I do feel well overall, uh, really hoping to get some freezer cooking in later this week. For dinners, I'm still doing my four week electric pressure cooker meal plan pack one. Tonight, I'm going to do instant pot chicken and dumplings. Tomorrow, it's gonna be creamy garlic chicken. Then we're gonna do steak fajita bowls. Lots of yummy things coming up this week for that. So I don't have to think about what I'm cooking all week for dinner. And hopefully, towards the end of the week, between Friday and Saturday, I can start getting some big bulk freezer cooking times done because I'd like to have a bunch of freezer meals before I go down with this kidney stuff. Yay. Future Jay Morrell, slip it in here real quick to let you know, finally, so many of you have asked for it. I have launched my 2021 sale in my large family table shop. My last sale was in October 2020. I told so many of you I was going to have another one next winter in January or so. And guess what? It's just been a little busy, a little hectic. Haven't got it done yet. So here we are. Summer's almost over for 2021 and I'm finally getting my winter sale up. Yay. Just keep, just keep spinning, right? We'll get to it. Keep doing the next thing and it, eventually it'll all get done. So now finally it's sale time. You can click the first link in the description below and get my new 2021 30, over 30 product bundle from the Large Family Table shop for 75% off for a limited time. So click the first link in that description below and get your bundle while it's all marked down. Yay. So true confessions haha ha. um look we have made a pizza frisbee so this is from a birthday party yesterday this was we made five of them uh this one sat in the oven too long <laughs> and then it sat in the oven all night 
And uh, anyway, so Liam is gonna throw it like a Frisbee. Okay, Liam, let's see if the pizza Frisbee works. Well, okay, try again. <laughs> Ready, there we go. Oh, okay, third time, this is gonna be it. It's too heavy, woo! If I can catch him, I'm gonna show you something new on the farm. We just hatched something pretty cute. Okay, there they are. Their mama just hopped off that log to go get some of the pizza. Aren't they precious? Probably got some barred rock there. Not sure what the, not sure exactly what the white ones will be. We also got some baby ducks that have hatched. And there's Gooser. Looking very stately there, Gooser. Yes, Gooser. Yes, looking nice, looking nice. Okay, and there's the chickens that are going to enjoy their chicken pizza. Oh, and there's a little black chick out there. So we're just letting the chicks be raised by the mamas. It's a really easy way to get more chickens. <laughs> It's also why I gave a nice bunch of chickens to a friend of mine who needed some more because I knew we were having all these babies hatch. Out there is a red hen and see a little black chick behind her, another little yellow, there's the peeps, there they go. So now they're running out. They're gonna find their mama, but the broody hens have been doing a nice job with them. And this uh, sample that I'm showing you is not all the chickens that we have. We have more way out in other places, um, free ranging and such right now. These are just the ones that were nearby that want to get in on this burnt pizza action. Alrighty, so we've got a loaf of peanut butter and jelly sandwiches ready to go. Then I also had a bag of dried mangoes. Oh, I and love these. You love these, I'm so glad. And I think this is our last bag of this fantastic trail mix from I Sharp love Shopper. Too. Everybody loves those. Yeah, they like the coconut pieces in there as well. And then we will grab some clementines. I and I think them. on my order, I got everybody a Fun drink. I also got a case of water for in the van. I think I got some graham crackers. And then I'll just have to look. Yeah, and some box salad. Yep. I'm not going to chop salad today, but I made peanut butter and jellies. It's all about balance. Yay. Yay, yay. At messy egg making station going, and I'm doing, what is peanut butter for? I'm gonna do peanut butter on an Ezekiel English muffin and I found, I had two of these in the freezer, so I'm taking these as well. They are super yummy. What? There were no substitutions in my little Walmart order. There's my salad, and I think they threw in this little bag of cherries as a, a bonus. That's fun. Um, I got the kids some Gatorades, and we have a case of water, and there's part of our snack bag. Yay. Alrighty, so I'm leaning at an odd angle hold, holding my sleeping baby, but plot twist for tonight is I have not been able to find a local vacation Bible school for the kids. Now, I haven't looked like hard, uh, but just local churches that I know that usually do VBS 
one in particular I went to sign them up for the other week and they only had a spot for one more kid. They had like a certain number only they were taking. So I got wind of today from a family member, another church that VBS starts tonight. It's all week long. We don't have to pre-register, just come and have some nice vacation Bible school. So plot twist and a surprise. That's not what we're doing this evening. But since we've been at the lake all day, I don't have time to go home and throw stuff in the Instant Pot. If I would have had this information before I left, I could have dumped something in the slow cooker. So, McDonald's is gonna feed us dinner tonight. I'm gonna take the kids home. We're gonna leave in about 30 minutes. They will have just enough time to get cleaned up. I'll put in a McDonald's mobile order because that's the kind of mom I am. And we will eat our discount McDonald's sandwiches while we're driving over the Mountain Bible School. Yay. Alrighty, we made it home. Everyone's changed. There's Vlog and Jamarell on the camera, haha. -ha. And our food should be out in five minutes. This is what plot twist, what we're doing for dinner tonight, because we're getting in bonus surprise VBS. And tomorrow we're not going out during the day, so I'll be able to cook in the kitchen. Yay. So we are back from our McDonald's dinner and bonus overtime <laughs> VBS adventures. Looks like I'm putting on a little play at home, huh? Anyway, we got this blanket hanging up because the contractors were here today to do a bunch of demo for where our brand new third bathroom is going. So I'll give you a peek. I am doing a whole video with all the steps that they do each day. So we'll have a start to finish on that, but I'll just show you real quick now. Does not look like much right now, but Oh, oh, the fun that will be had in here with another, so that's where the and toilet will be. We have a broom. We have a broom. Yeah, there's a broom. They tore a bunch of stuff out here today. But anyway, here's a sneak peek. We're getting a new window there, getting a new vanity. In my bathroom video, I'll tell you all the plans. But that's, that's the rubble that is left. And that's the drain for the shower. Over here is where the shower will be. Toilet vanity closet that way I think I'm getting another closet over there super fun adventures well friends we are back this evening whole day whole day is almost gone and now it is time in our large family four-week electric pressure cooker meal plan we are doing the instant pot chicken and dumplings getting those going now okay here is our instant pot chicken and dumplings that we're doing So I've got the carrots, onion, and celery sauteing here on the saute mode in the Instant Pot. I'm also adding in my garlic. Okay, okay, just stirred around for a wooden spoon for a second. In the meantime, I got my pre-cooked chicken cut up. I got some broth ready to go. Now I'm going to cut up the biscuits for the biscuit pieces that are gonna make our dumplings. There we go. Hopefully that didn't scare you. Okay, I'll give you my biscuit popping warning. I'm about to pop a can of biscuits. <laughs> Thanks, Jim Rill. now you tell us. Well, that just did it on its own. Yay. Okay. Okay. 
I usually cut them in just little pieces like this. Enough, good enough. You can, of course, use homemade biscuits with this. You can have your pre made biscuits in the freezer and set them out to defrost and then use those pieces in your chicken and dumplings. But, Mama Grace, you can also buy a can of biscuits at the store. My wooden spoon to scrape any little pieces that might have been stuck to the bottom of the pan here. Okay, so next up it's about two to three pounds of pre-cooked chicken breast. So I'm gonna use my mama hands, so that's what's going in now. So then seasoning wise, I'm adding in a tablespoon of poultry seasoning and about a teaspoon of pepper. Of course we can eyeball it, but that's for all my viewers who like to know the measurements. Come on, poultry seasoning, you can do this. Well, there we go. Good enough, good enough. Oh my, all kinds of rules broken, eyeballing it. Alrighty. Yay. Yes, oh, that's my half teaspoon. This is my lid on my pepper that refuses to close. Don't you just love that? Okay, now I'm gonna stir those in. Now I'm gonna start adding in my biscuit pieces. I will also stir these before we put the lid on and get this cooking. It's gonna cook on high for about seven minutes. I am separating these as best as I can with one hand. You would think that a busy mama also had time to set up tripods, but no. Gee, why don't I, ha ha? This is the uh, Jibberell now, plot twist, running out every evening to vacation Bible school uh, dance right now, huh? The kids did have a wonderful time last night, and it was like a Mennonite vacation Bible school. So, oh my goodness, those Mennonite desserts are amazing. Daniel said, Mommy, they had cookies with sprinkles in the cookies. <laughs> and I think they had ice cream sandwiches and I think they had sodas. So yeah, the kids are having, it sounds like they're gonna have a dessert party every night, which, which that'll be fun. set it for just seven minutes. It's on normal, it's on high. We're gonna let it do its thing, it is sealed. Once it is done and we have vented it, released all the steam, etc., we will then add in our frozen peas and some heavy cream very last. Alrighty, so we have vented it. Take the lid off now. Then I'm gonna give it some stirs here break up the dumplings. And then we're gonna add in a cup of heavy cream 
and about 16 ounces of frozen peas that have been set out there to frost it now. And just stir it up like so. And so here we go, yay, Instant Pot, chicken and dumplings. Delicious, delicious, time for dinner. Of course, we'll probably chop up a watermelon too. Well, happy day, what do you think, Tobin? Happy afternoon? Yes, I've been filming a whole lot for a sponsor today. I'm done with that, so now I can film dinner. Somebody's been talking, you just, you, oh, and yes, we put the little wrist rattles on the other day, too. You want to talk for a minute, Tobin? We were going to go put a letter in the mail because Mommy's been cooped up in this house and I want to get out. Everybody else is out swimming and doing pony things with Grandmother. Mommy says, let me out this house, right? Hello. Have you been saying things? You've been saying You've been talking. You have. And there's that really cute baby in the camera. Well, you can talk to him. What's he saying, Tobin? I hear garage noises, too. Yes. Oh, yeah. I agree. You want to go find some kitties and walk? There's a mommy in the camera, too. What? Tell that mommy to get out of that camera. Tell that baby to get out of the camera. You go find some... A mommy should just be quiet and let you talk. We got you going now. We got you going now. Ooh, let's go find a kitty. Say, kitty. You can, you can do math. Yeah, you can move your math around too. Okay, that's it. Let's get walking. mama holding my baby and I am on the the four week electric pressure cooker meal plan I'm sure you've heard of this and actually tonight's dinner is technically the uh, the start of week two it's the creamy garlic parmesan chicken last night when I did the chicken and dumplings it was technically the end of week one even though this is a different large family meals of the week video you're following me you're not you're not new around here you know how things go so whenever i cooked up week one which was in my last large family meals video we had birthday we had a birthday party we had out of state trip we had fourth of july i think we had a couple different things going on so i got all those meals made except for chicken and dumplings which back up to speed that's what I made last night in this video but that's okay whole point is with the four weeks all planned out the grocery shopping list and all that you swing it you make it work for you if one week you only get three of the meals made and then you just take the rest of the meals left shift those to the next week again make it work for you so tonight it is the creamy garlic parmesan chicken of course the recipe calls for three pounds of boneless skinless chicken breast cubed I have them cubed here Mine is about four and a half pounds because my pack was a little extra, so we don't mind. Uh, we've got salt, Italian seasoning blend, paprika, olive oil. That's what we're going to cook up the chicken pieces in. Cloves of garlic, 
but I'm using my minced garlic, yeehaw. Uh, chicken broth, butter, heavy cream, cream cheese, and then some Parmesan cheese. You can serve this over the zucchini noodles, over spaghetti squash, over cauli rice. I'm actually doing brown rice tonight because from where I cleaned out my jars, I had some brown rice left that has been in a Ziploc bag. I need to get it used up. So we are having ours over brown rice tonight. And then of course, what's the side dish right now? Watermelon. We have half a watermelon left that I cut with breakfast. So I'm gonna have that out and we will serve that too. I keep keep bumping into my spoons there. Okay, so I'm just using this as my little mixing bowl. I guess I could bend down and get a different mixing bowl, but I'm not, so there's that. It's a tablespoon and a half of Italian seasoning blend. Since I've got a little extra chicken in mine, I'm just gonna do two tablespoons. So that's how I like to roll. And then it is three teaspoons of paprika. I'm sorry, two teaspoons of paprika, did I say that? Okay, and then I'm just gonna put some salt in there. Again, I'm not measuring anything in my cup in particular, I am just using this so I don't have to bend and get a bowl, yes. I've got my chicken here. I'm just gonna dump it on there. I'll roll it. I'm gonna get my hands all up in it here in a minute whenever I get sauteing it. Now my pot is reading hot, yay. So you just take your chicken and your seasonings and you're just gonna do a bunch of separate batches in your Instant Pot with the saute function, and then we will go from there. There we go, now we're gonna add in the rest of the ingredients. All right, so we're gonna add in two cups of heavy cream, then some butter and some softened cream cheese. I meant to get my cream cheese softened, and I did not do it yet, so I just throw it in the microwave for 25, 30 seconds-ish. The recipe calls for four ounces for half a block, but I've added some extra chicken, so you know, as always, I'm stretching it. And it's half a stick of butter, and I've got some various, some butter in various forms. So, there you go. Okay, then we're gonna add this cream in. We have all kinds of interesting noises in our house. The kids are getting ready for Vacation Bible School. Did you have fun last night? Yes. yes. Are you scared? Are you scared about what mommy's making? <laughs> He's making faces. I'm playing with you, sweetie. Okay, and then I put it back on saute. Everything's still hot, but I let it do the um, manual slower release on the steam. I went and did a few things on my computer. Anyway, sat here. 
adding in about a cup and a half. Will help as well. Recipe calls for a cup. This is how you cook my recipes and this is how you jack them up, ha ha. I did a bunch of brown rice. Okay, so when you have something that you want some help melting down like the butter and such, you can throw it on the saute mode for a minute. Also can help thicken it up a little bit. So I just made plates for eight. I know there's not a lot of color on these plates. In a perfect world, just picture with me a big pile of steamed broccoli along the sides. But we are going to eat up our bright pink <laughs> doo -doo -doo -doo, watermelon. <laughs> so here is our creamy Parmesan chicken over brown rice and watermelon on the side, yay. Happy uh, good morning breakfast time. So I think this is about three or so fried eggs that Naomi did for me. And then I've toasted Ezekiel bread muffin and then I've got three celery stalks with light laughing cow cheese on, in it. And then my buy drink with a whole bunch of water. So yay, good morning breakfast. We are off to the playground with a whole bunch of friends today. Alrighty, so hot day in July at the park, but this is what we packed. Uh, fruit, fresh fruit wise, I only grabbed the peaches. I meant to also put apples and mandarins in here. But we got trail mix, some um, dried cranberries, some almonds that I found, banana chips, all kinds of snacky things. And then Liam made um, 12 or 14 peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Okay, and after a hot time at the playground with friends, we wanted some ice cream, but yet I did not want to stand outside of one of those like soft serve places. So I went into 7-Eleven, here we are, eat ice cream in the air conditioned van and we don't have to wait in line. I'm happy, yay. Oh, and as Benjamin just said, and go to another playground. Well friends, it's future Jay Morrell again. I feel like I should have jazz hands or dance hands or something going on here, right? So this video kicks off. We did it. Look at us doing things. My 2021 super mega product bundle with over 30 best-selling products from my large family table shop. You get 75% off for a limited time. There are also nine brand new products for 2021. Up until this point, again, my joke is, this is my January sale that I was gonna have last winter. And so finally, now that summer's gonna be done before we know it, I'm finally, finally getting to it. We're getting things, see, I get to things. It just takes a while. I just keep on moving, eventually we get it done. It may be several weeks or months or years from when I plan, but you know, that's real life, right? So in the brand new 2021 Super Mega Bundle with the 30 plus products, you get all 12 of the best selling large family freezer meal packs. There's breakfast packs, there's a lunch pack, several dinner packs, a dairy free pack, a gluten free pack, low carb packs, tons of options. You get all of those in the new 2021 Super Mega Bundle. The brand new four week electric pressure cooker meal plan pack one and you also get pack two, yay. So it's actually eight weeks planned out of electric pressure cooker dinners for you and your family. And you also get the fantastic large family sheet pan dinners pack one, large family sheet pan lunches pack two, and a large family sheet pan breakfast pack three. All of those are fantastic and any sheet pan recipes that you have seen me do over these last few months are in those packs. You get the Make Ahead Holiday Meals to Feed a Crowd pack. You also get the Easy and Frugal Make Ahead and Freeze Cookie Baking Pack. And there's the brand new Mega Muffins pack. So if you want to make some Mega Muffins, if you want all kinds of muffins in your freezer, 
because we need muffins in life, yes and amen. And this is a variety of muffins. They're sweet and they're savory and there's lunch muffins and breakfast muffins and tea party muffins, whatever you need muffins for, the Mega Muffin Pack is for you. And also brand new to the 2021 Super Mega Bundle is the Frugal From Scratch Baking Pack 2. Yay. So you get those nine new products for 2021, plus all the other products in the bundle. So you get that entire 2021 Super Mega Bundle for 75% off. The value on that bundle is over $480 because many of those packs individually every day sell for $14.99. So it's a fantastic time to take advantage of getting these wonderful 30 plus products from the Large Family Table Shop for freezer cooking, for big batch cooking, for bacon, for all of your muffin needs, for your low carb needs, for all the food things, for the meal plan, the slow cooker, the electric pressure cooker, uh, everything is in that bundle. So click the first link in the description below and for a limited time, you can get that for 75% off from my shop, yay. So, two playgrounds, met up with friends, ran into 7-Eleven to get ice cream while we were out did not want to deal with the, the heat and the lines and the, again, the soft serve. Uh, what you think, Tobin? Tobin's in a different seat right now. Wow, big boy. Anyway, got home and just from the heat and being out with kids and doing summer things all day, I laid down. Tobin and I both for about an hour. Benjamin laid with us for about half of that, so that definitely didn't count as nap time. <laughs> but once Benjamin went on back out with Travis some, uh, then I think Tobin and I, I don't know, I might have like, can I even form a sentence? I might have, <laughs> I might have gotten about 25 minutes of like mom nap time. But that's okay. Tobin got to nurse for over an hour while laying down, so he's all snuggled and ready to go. Um, dinner tonight. So I thought this morning as we were leaving to meet friends in the heat and do all these things, you know what? I'm just going to use, I got these uh, emergency chicken nuggets from Sharp Shopper. And just yesterday, Benjamin said, when are we doing the Paw Patrol macaroni? So I'm going all out with uh, like kid crud dinner. We are doing the nuggets. We are doing the Paw Patrol macaroni and I'm going to cut a watermelon. That's going to be dinner tonight. And I set meat out this morning in that thought process thinking, okay, it'll just be again, kid junk dinner. And tomorrow night I will do my steak fajita bowls. And then I remembered while I was out, well, tomorrow night is a big church picnic. So anyway, may not be until the next night that I get back to cooking in the instant pot and doing the steak fajita bowls. But there you go. Yay summer. Okay, <laughs> follow me for more recipes. Paw Patrol macaroni. <laughs> noodles boil I'll uh, try to retell a funny story that I thought it was pretty funny that happened to me today good old 7-eleven so again being the lazy mom that I am always look always looking for the easiest route to do things not wanting to stand in that heat and in our big mammoth 15 passenger you know super tall van and stuff it's not like I can just get through any old drive through it's got to be a, uh, a planned event that's where I just was like, I'm just going to go into 7-Eleven and get this kid's ice cream. Okay, so you know that. That's well established. Well, I go in there. There's these two good old country guys sitting at a table at the 7-Eleven eating. And I come over with my red basket. I'm glad they have the little hand baskets back. And I go up to the ice cream freezer. And the guy thought he was being smart. He said, oh my goodness, you're getting so much ice cream, you need a basket to carry it in. And I'm not saying nothing because I'm already thinking this is about to get real awkward. So I open the ice cream freezer and yeah, I'm filling. That's exactly what I got my red basket for. I'm filling it full of ice cream. And there's just, as I'm filling it, there's like this awkward silence. This poor guy does not know what to say. He thought he was being smart. And I was like, 
You didn't even know who you were talking to, did ya? And I laughed and walked and paid for my ice cream. I thought that was funny. Hopefully you find it funny too. Happy new day. I am working on a whole compilation video that's going to show every day's progress with our developing third bathroom, yay, and our basement projects. But I'm sneaking in extra clips in here for you. You won't mind getting a sneak peek before the whole start to finish video is done. So it's been a couple days since I showed you the beginning and uh, look how far we've come. So it's starting to look like something in here. Now that is the, uh, that's drywall board, right? Trav, the waterproof. Yeah, Travis is here. Ta we were looking at the updates. Um, so obviously this is not the color that will be on the wall. There's insulation going in. Don't know if I told you in this video or not, but we've uh, flipped the shower in this direction. Toilet is still there. So when you walk in, we still got, got a nice deep closet that'll be here. This is our vanity area. This is new window that just got installed. Again, same hole in the floor for the toilet, but things are coming along. Yay! So it'll probably blind you with this camera. We got the fan light going on and he's, um, what he said this weekend, he's gonna do the shower pan before or by next week. Yeah, yeah so that will be coming in and there you go so i don't know what else is happening other than a bathroom is going in and it is exciting yay good morning good morning we had our end of vacation bible school week egg. picnic last night yes that's our egg so this morning i feel like this is our standard breakfast this week although we do have some jelly toast going on that's it was oh. the eggs were frozen. Yes, we did have some eggs that got frozen in the refrigerator too. That happens in the summer as temperatures adjust. So anywho, we are doing buttered hard boiled eggs for breakfast and of course another watermelon. There's also some jelly toast. It's okay, hold on, I'm talking to my camera. Also some jelly toast inspiration going on and that is breakfast this morning. I actually peeled the watermelon this morning, so that was something different. And then there's some eggs that are left. A few more folks to feed, and then we'll have a few extra. Well, super exciting. I know, I know. I am here working, working on work stuff. I'll hold up my computer because you can't see it. So kids are in different locations. Somebody is holding my baby, and I am trying to get a couple hours of online work stuff done. And then we'll take it from there. So, happy afternoon to you. Well, you see what happened is. <laughs> It's now um, 7.50 at night. How did that even happen? I tell you, I've been busting through, getting a lot of stuff done that I have needed to get done to have this big sale that I've been trying to put on. Just so much planning and little fine point details. So, hours and hours and hours. Uh, so I'm not cooking again tonight, it looks like, and it's also been raining outside. Um, let me get Mr. Tobin set here. It's been raining out, so it's not like Travis can stand in the rain and grow right now. We won't do that to him. So I'm calling my pizza card. I'm calling on my order pizza card. And, uh, that's what we're doing. So I've had like three nights now where I have not done an instant pot dinner. But I shall do one tomorrow night because I've got meat ready for it. But let's see night before last i did chicken nuggets for the kids called my easy card with that then last night we had the end of vacation bible school picnic and then tonight my work time is just taken over i'm still going to be here for at least another hour we're going to order pizza that is that no guilt yay okay here's the proof domino's made dinner tonight there's mama's greasy pizza yay
Good morning. So we are doing the running out the door for church Sunday morning shuffle. Somehow time got away and here we are. So for the little boys, I made these little like snack bags to eat on the way. It's just some loose cereal, some banana chips, and a box of craisins, courtesy of Leftover Lake Snacks. For everyone else, I chopped up a big watermelon real quick, and we also had a few cold hard boiled eggs and a, a sack of Baby Bell cheese from Costco. So we're just kind of grabbing snacky things as we're running out the door. Okay, well, I was just behaving myself, getting ready to start filming these steak fajita bowls. And uh, set my lemonade on the counter. I'm just so sad right now. I'm just so sad. I'm prepping my little area. No use, yes, Tobin, no use crying over spilled lemonade, but still. I don't know, I'm just sad. Let, let me show you the mess. Look at that. I was just being haved. Kitchen antics, I tell ya. Okay, well, we're gonna get this cleaned up. And then, so it's Sunday after church time. I was gonna do uh, early dinner or late lunch doing these steak fajita bowls finally. So we're gonna chop up our pepper, chop up our onion. I got some beef broth and uh, got a bunch of spices and stuff. But we're gonna go to town and make this. After I'm done, you know, cause what? Mama always needs another mess to clean up, right? Yeah, <laughs> yes and amen. Baby kitchen floor. Sheesh. Now I just got done spraying these counters. Even though we've run them fresh. Sheesh. Okay. I had Naomi bring me a bath towel, so that's on the floor. Liam, microwave's done, honey. Liam is heating up himself up some garlic knots that were left over from last night. Okay, let me just totally bathe everything. Let's just do that. I guess now I better make myself another drink. Oh, I hear you, Tobin. I was just gonna get something away. I've just been pouring lemon juice into a quart jar and a little bit of stevia not even adding anything else to it. It's just been my drink of choice at the moment. I could add the baobab powder. That requires stirring and I gotta do chopping, so. It's as far as we get. Don't break. Okay, I'm trying to start cooking, but now look who's walking by outside. We got, it's two mamas that have taken over these baby chicks. I think they both took turns sitting on the eggs. And the eggs are from a collection of various mamas. I've got my camera zoomed in and my kitchen window, so that's why you get the shaky cam. Just showing you part of my view. And that's sweet. All right, so, can't tell you how many distractions I've had <laughs> as, as, all, as the story goes. That's the world turn. So I'm going to wash and chop up three peppers and an onion. Uh, we we're gonna get this Hot going, get the meat cut, just go to town. And now is I got our beef all sliced up. I'm going to brown it in small batches right there in the Instant Pot. There we go. I'm gonna just get a few more in there. We just want to kind of brown it on both sides, and I see a chunk of meat that I didn't cut through perfectly, but that's okay. I'll get back to it. Um, I'm going to do this in batches. I'm going to get a container to set it in while it waits. 
then we will add in the beef broth and deglaze the bottom of the pan, put the meat and all the veggies back in, and all the spices. It's got, uh, let's see here, oregano, garlic powder, paprika, smoked paprika is very nice if you have that, onion powder, chili powder, a big old thing of cumin. There we go. And what's nice with these steak bowl fajitas is you can really doctor them up any way that you like. I have made a pot of brown rice that's over on the stove right now. You could also use cauli rice or you can use quinoa. Whatever you want to serve it on, it'll be fantastic. I have an abundance of peppers right now. I think I also have some greens left. Tomorrow I need to pick up a grocery, a little grocery order. My plan is to have fresh pepper slices for the top, also a dollop of sour cream, and then some shredded cheese and some greens as I'm able to find them. You can also do olives, you could do jalapenos, it's just uh, whatever you would like on a fajita or a taco or any kind of bowl, you can add it to this bowl. You can also, um, you don't have to do the step to brown your meat first, but your meat might clump together. So any way you want to do it, I like to do this little extra step when I'm able to get to it. And you know, in the past week, we've had some, I was just reviewing, what what all have, have we <laughs> journeyed through in this Large Family Meals video? Well, we had an unexpected week of vacation Bible school. That was really impromptu. I found out about it the day that that was starting. So that all worked out and that meant we got to get some bonus McDonald's one night. Was not expecting that, but it was either feed the kids quickly or we can't go. So that's how that worked. Again, if I would have known uh, the day before, I would have thrown something in the slow cooker that morning. That's okay. I really didn't even have time though to, um, to come home and feed them besides them getting changed quickly. And then we did the Instant Pot chicken and dumplings once I found my footing that we were doing vacation Bible school every night. And then I know one night we did the creamy garlic parmesan chicken over rice. Also, we ended up having a picnic dinner out at the end of Vacation Bible School. And then of course, last night we know I was gonna make these steak fajita bowls and I got working too long, mama was tired. So it's about a cup and a half of beef broth. Just a little more. I had an unknown amount I poured in. I'll say it was a fourth of a cup. Now we got another fourth. We have half. Yay. sliced meat back in and all the vegetables. And while this cooks, we're gonna put it on high for about eight minutes. While it does that, I want pepper slices for on top of those. And I've got some olives and such. There we go, we got a peek inside. Now we're gonna put the lid on and get the timer going. My lid on there, huh? On high, eight minutes, yay. And it's like, and so it begins. So I am working on getting all the bowls together now, but you know what? Um, I'm gonna work on eating mine while I make everyone else's. We've got brown rice, we have the steak fajita toppings, then I have sour cream, some green chili, some black olives, I just like it all, avocados and some pepper slices. Uh, sour cream shredded cheese, did I say that yet? Yum. Did I say brown rice underneath yet? I don't know, brown rice is underneath. I'm gonna start shoving this in my face and making other bowls. Happy new day. A whole bunch of stuff on my table. Bunch of pans out here in my kitchen. And an almost quiet house. Of course, we always, always have to shut, 
shut the door for this dryer. At least it goes better when I do. Now Tobin's gonna start talking. So almost quiet house. It could only mean one thing. Mama's about to start a ginormous freezer cooking week. And I believe, let me clean my counters while I talk to you, right? I believe in the course of my filming universe, let me just go on out and just do all these counters. You are seeing this large family meals of the week video after, let, let's see if it has, if my plan has worked. Cause you know, again, sometimes I make plans and boy, nothing like that happened. <laughs> and, and we just go with it. My plan is two of my freezer cooking videos will be out before this video and that's just the way it's going to end up working uh, in my YouTube universe. What are the reasons for that? Well, the reasons for that is in real time when I am filming this, it is July 19th. Coming out this week, I have a decluttering video. This week as in the week of July 19th, right? I have a decluttering video and I have my large family meals video that I filmed probably about two weeks now. I think I ended it right after 4th of July. So you've already seen that. So I'm getting ready. I just want to confuse you. Are you ready? Yes, you're already there. You're with me. So I'm getting ready to have basically uh, three full days of freezer cooking this week, plus a fill-in grocery haul. And I also don't like two uh, large family meals of the week videos to come out back to back, but sometimes things get jammed up like that. So thank you for being jammed up with me. Your future viewers, you've already seen my freezer cooking videos, and then you're gonna see this meals of the week video. But I know, you put up with me and we all live in harmony. <laughs> it could be our song for today. So I went this morning, picked up everything that I need to cook up my large family freezer meals. It's a dinner pack, 12. Some of those items, like pantry items, are on the table. The meat is out in my, uh, my faded refrigerator in the garage. Every refrigerator has its name. And I'm gonna start all the prep work for that here in a minute and get cooking it and go from there. And I also realized I'm, I'm ending this video in the same dress I started the video in. So again, there's my wardrobe. Uh, then, so I'm working hard this week to do that. It could just take me today, Monday. I got other things going on though, so I'm planning that it's gonna take me tomorrow, Tuesday as well. Wednesday, we have folks coming over for fun. Thursday, I'm gonna cook up large family freezer meals, pack 11, which is lunches. And then Friday's at grocery haul. And then the weekend, Travis and I are going away for a few days, taking the baby with us, yeehaw. So, thanks so much for watching this large family meals video. Hope you enjoyed my eating out and my Instant Pot meals and my church picnics and our leg days and all of that. Many more fun adventures coming up. And don't forget to click the first link down in the description below. Head over to the Large Family Table shop and get the brand new 2021, who can believe that year, it's amazing, super mega 30 plus product bundle for 75% off and get all of this freezer cooking, electric pressure cooking, slow cooking, bacon, all the things for that super low price. I'll see you very soon with another brand new video. Talk to you in the comments below. Gonna start filming another video for you right now. Bye-bye.